Today, we've got a hot topic to discuss, and it's all about the legendary reggae artist Buju Banton and his intriguing comments on Jamaican men. Buju recently made headlines with his thought-provoking views on the state of masculinity in Jamaica, and we're here to break it down for you. Buju Banton, known for his music that often carries powerful messages, has raised some eyebrows with his latest statements. In an on-stage interview, he declared, Our men have become weak. The women are stronger than our men in this nation. But what's the deal, you ask? Buju suggests that Jamaican men are displacing their anger onto their fellow countrymen instead of confronting the real oppressors. He points out that this misplaced anger is leading to wanton killings and a lack of compassion. In essence, he believes that Jamaican men are dealing with a lot of frustration, and it's spilling over into violence within their communities. Now, before you think Buju is just stirring the pot, there's some research to back up his claims. Dr. Herbert Gale, a lecturer at the University of the West Indies, has explored the issue extensively. He found that young boys in Jamaica's inner city areas are being taught to fear, hate, and harm people who support rival political parties. This tribal political violence is deeply ingrained in some communities, and it's affecting these boys' behavior. Jamaica has struggled with high levels of violence for years. Homicide rates have been alarming, with young men being disproportionately affected. In fact, over 80% of violence-related injuries are among males, and most homicides are the result of gang feuding involving young men. The statistics don't lie, folks. In 2020, the Jamaica Constabulary Force reported that a whopping 82.4% of murder victims were men, and nearly two-thirds of them were between the ages of 15 and 34. This means that the island might be losing billions of dollars in potential productivity annually due to crime and violence. So, what's Buju's take on all of this? He believes that the nation isn't quite ready for significant change yet. The mindset is deeply ingrained, and it's going to take some time and effort to shift things in a positive direction. But here's the real question, what can be done about it? Can Buju's powerful music play a role in making a change? He certainly thinks so. He sees his music as a way to teach important lessons and inspire transformation. In conclusion, Buju Banton's comments on Jamaican men being weak might be controversial, but they're rooted in some undeniable truths about the challenges facing Jamaica. It's a complex issue that requires careful consideration and action. So, what do you think? Is Buju onto something, or is there more to the story? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more though content.